Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Pete with Pete's Green Machine. Uh, so the Green Machine is in her shed right now, but uh, I uh, sort of modified and uh, updated uh, my cart uh, for her to use. I had this cart, um, a uh, you know, just a lawn cart um, that I used with my old tractor and uh, watching YouTube videos of uh, other John Deere owners, I saw them do some modifications uh, to their cart. Um, I tried to find a how-to video, but I couldn't find any. So I just sort of figured it out and winged it myself. And I figured, well, after I'm done, I'll uh, make a video and uh, show you guys. So here it is. It's uh, originally a Brindley 10 cubic foot, 10 cubic feet um, cart that I picked up at Home Depot. Has uh, you know the foot release there to dump it right here. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, I saw a lot of guys, uh, have this sort of modification to the cart. Uh, some of the guys, uh, carts are actually hydraulic, which is really nice, uh, which I think is something out of my realm of handyman stuff to do. But this was fairly easy. Um, this type of cart comes with these slots this cart has uh, three on this side three on the other side and two right there so I went out to mr. Home Depot and I bought uh, a couple eight foot long uh, these are actually called two by ones uh, if they were real two by ones they would fit better in here but uh, uh, but that's what I bought. I bought some two by ones and um, I was going to buy um, two, uh, put two planks here because uh, the ones that I've seen uh, have like, you know, they're, they're, they're just two separate planks. But as I was shopping in Home Depot, I came across this thing and I'm not sure if it's for like, you know, a picnic bench or stairs or whatever but I said oh you know what that would be perfect um, so uh, I put it on there and I saw that it hung off a little bit and I was going to cut it and I said hey you know what screw it I'll leave it like that it's no big deal it's only a couple a couple inches and it it'll give me um, a little bit more space so I bought three of these obviously I had to cut the front one to fit and uh, these are the the one by twos that I cut uh, to the height I bought these these pretty hefty bolts and nuts right there uh, to hold this up and then I bought a little bit smaller uh, bolt and nut for the one by twos to hold them in place in there and uh, I guess if I ever wanted to take it off I could just undo these and slide the whole thing up uh, now as you can see it does have color to it I did have some leftover deck ceiling stain some Thompson's uh, laying around so I just finished staining it. It is uh, still a little wet. I figured it'd be cool. I did this one a little dark. I did this one a little light. And uh, I thought it came out good. Uh, should be um, should be fun to use uh, once I start loading mulch and rocks and all that other good stuff in there. Um, I did put on a pretty heavy coat of... Um, stain since it's going to be living outside and getting wet and I didn't want it to uh, you know I want it to last a little bit and uh, that's it guys so uh, if you have any questions just let me know
and uh, or if you have any uh, ideas about what I did, what I could have did different or better. You know, I'm not super handyman. I just sort of try to figure this stuff out as I go. Uh, I was thinking, um, in case you guys ask, it is pretty sturdy up there. Okay, it's not, it's not moving anywhere. That's the whole cart moving. But I was just to maybe shore it up even more. Maybe get some L brackets. Maybe two L brackets in each corner. Just uh, for, you know, some final uh, sturdiness there. But it is, it is super sturdy. It's not going anywhere. And um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, Going to try and do as many videos as possible. Uh, should have a thatching and a uh, uh, broadcast spreader uh, in use video coming up soon. So uh, thanks again for watching, guys, and talk to you later. Bye.